Greetings and salutations all. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and download and install the Positron IDE, which is a new IDE from Posit. To begin, open up your favorite web browser and go to github.com forward slash posit dash dev forward slash Positron. Once you're on the GitHub repository page, scroll down to where you see releases and go ahead and click on that release button. This release button will take you to the latest release, which in this case is 24.06.1. Go down to where you see the .exe and click it in the release assets. In the top right, you can see that the release was downloading. And if I select the download button, um, what will happen is you can see the Positron build for Windows is about 142 megabytes, which isn't really that bad. Once it's done downloading, double click to launch the installer. You'll probably receive, in this case, a user account control. Go ahead and say yes. Uh, now say I accept to the uh, agreement. Install in the um, usual directory. Say Positron is okay. And um, what I did here is I just added a quick desktop icon that allows me to really easily find Positron um, instead of going through the start menu. Once all that's done, go ahead and press next and the installation process will start. As you can see, I sort of sped up this part of the video a little bit. So in total, it took me about nine, about 80 seconds. Once done, go ahead and press finish. That'll launch the Positron IDE. Um, the Positron IDE takes a little bit of time to really start up on Windows. Again, uh, I would say that this might not be 100% representative of how you would end up using uh, Positron because I'm running this underneath a virtual environment uh, through Parallels on Mac. Um, so again, the startup time here, it, it might not be nearly as bad on yours, um, but basically what's going on is they're trying to discover interpreters, um, uh, which means you know either R or Python. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't find any, so we're going to go ahead and go to the start interpreter and then select R 4.4.1. And you can see in this case, I'm going to really quickly close out of the Explorer and then, you know, just check to see the latest build of R is used and see a quick calculation. Thanks for watching.